So RNA is sort of an intermediary. And it's a really interesting historical story. You go back to the early 1900s, people took Mendel's principles, just mathematical ratios about what percentage of your offspring are going to have red hair or some other trait. What percentage are male and female? Is it 50-50? That sort of thing. And they connected that to these chromosome structures. Chromosomes have protein and DNA. Well, even before DNA was the substance of heredity, there were biochemical experiments that said, hey, there's, there's something going on with proteins that matches what Mendel said. There's a protein genetic link here. So we know proteins have something to do with how we look. Then you get to Watson Crick, 1953, structure of DNA. So we've established protein plays a role in heredity. Now we know DNA does. What's the relationship between the two? And it took, I think, around a decade of much trial and error, theorizing. Uh, there was a hypothesis that maybe proteins physically interacted with that twisted ladder-like structure. There were questions of, well, how many rungs of that DNA ladder code for one subunit of a protein? All these things were open questions. And finally, somewhat serendipitously and, and a lot of sweat and effort and money, they discovered that there was an inter intermediary. So RNA is like one half of this ladder of DNA. It's chemically very similar, ribonucleic acid. There's really basically an oxygen link there that's missing in DNA, deoxy, ribonucleic acid. And RNA is, so the way it works then, how do you code for traits? Well, you have DNA, there's, there's, a, there's information there, coded in some way. Well, the cell has machinery that goes and recognizes certain rungs, starts making a copy of that DNA, makes an RNA copy, and we call it transcription because it is like transcribing. So I'm speaking words orally, and if you write it down, you're transcribing what I'm saying. It's really the same thing, making a copy. This is then taken to another part of the cell, to the ribosome, where it's translated. That's the technical term because it goes from a, a DNA RNA type language, chemical language, to an amino acid, totally different chemistry, that protein language. And then it's usually the proteins that do the business of the cell, that break down our food, that transform chemicals to give us skin tone and gives the zebra its stripes and so forth. So it's this intermediary that they finally discovered, and there, there's a whole code to that too. And there's, there's three rungs basically of the RNA ladder, if I can speak that way, that code for a subunit of a protein. And, and that was all discovered fairly recently as well.